Right, good morning folks. Now, it's a little bit chilly to take the um, shack outside to finish. Well, it's not to finish, it's to continue with. And so I thought, well, I can't do it inside because of the fumes. But I want to do something, obviously, because I need to keep putting some videos out. <clears throat> These came the other day, the little uh, pendant screws. So I thought, well, I'll do some of the resin things today. So I'm just going to try something out. I have two bookmarks, a coaster, uh, the little egg-shaped pendants. I've collected a few bits and pieces that I might cut this off and attach that into one of them. I've got some of these for the bigger pendant coaster. I've got a butterfly that I absolutely love and I think would look brilliant in there. Some beads, some flowers and some bling. But I've also got some Perfect Pearls, which is a mica powder. Because I'm going to just try them. I'm going to play around. So we're just going to make sure these are uh, free of any anything, you know. Don't want any dust in them or anything like that. Make sure they're okay, which they are. Bit of particles on it. <laughs> They're free. <laughs> and that's free of anything. So, yeah. Now, I'm not going to be doing all of those, but I'm, I might do this one. And I just thought for that, I can actually pop in this heart, this golden heart. So I'm just going to clip the top off that. Just like a little pendant and I'm happy with that. Need to get my little file oops, and just file down, oops not on there, where the clip was, you know where the loop was, like that. So I want to make sure they're all dust free and I just think that that in there like that will look fab. But what I've got to do first, and you do have to make sure that they're lined up. I'm going to use a spike to move things about. But you do need to make your mixture up. So I'm just going to, with things like this, I just want to play around. See, I don't want it too tall because then you, it's not going to look right. You need them deep enough. That's not going to look right. Let me just see about this one because you can put whatever you want in them really doesn't matter see like that like I could put that in as a little charm and they it, it will cover that and it'll be fine and I can put a backing on as well I'm not too sure if I want to just do do you know what I might just do that I can work around that so first of all I need a board and I'm going to use a board because you need to be able to keep it flat. So what I'm going to do is put my bits on here that I'm going to fill and then I can use this when I finished to lift up and then lay flat somewhere. First of all, I just need to put on where uh, all the bits I'm going to use and hopefully get them centerized. Now, I do have, uh, the, like I said, that butterfly. I do want to use that butterfly, but I'm going to use uh, do a, uh, a kind of spray first. But before I put any of these in, I need to make up the mixture. And then once I've done the mixture, pour it in. And you need to, you can do it in layers so that things stick. Now I've got these little measuring pots. I've got some sticks here that I can also use for mixing with. Right, so all I'm going to do now is mix that rigorously. So that's three resin, the epoxy resin, and one hardener. You just have to keep mixing it 
so it's all mixed in really well and as I was saying before um, I did use this particular one on my sister's um, coasters I know it says mix for three to five minutes but <laughs> I'm just going to take it down so it's lower where I can see it it's not a lot so I don't think you need to do it that long so I'll be back when this is done right I've got this more or less done now I'm not going to add any pigment to it yet because I want to put a little bit in the base of um, we'll do this one first now I'm going to do these first let me just see I'm just going to pour a little bit of this in my pot just to put a thin layer in there can you see like that I'm going to move it up around the hole where the hole will be So that's that one. Just going to stand that in there for a minute. And while uh, you just, I'm doing it in two layers basically. Because what I want to do now is to put some flowers in there and some leaves. So what I'm going to do is take out one of these. Let's just have a look, see what we managed to pick up. See, I like that one, but it's too wide, so I can't use that one really. Let me see if there's another one. No, not there, but we've got some of the other colours. So I'm going to use this one, I think. Here's one. And what I can do is just to trim bits off. And I'm going to, because this is the back, and I'm going to turn it upside down. So that is going to be the front. I'm going to do that. Take this little bit, so I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to pop that on there and then we'll pop that on there as well like that I'm going to try and sink that down a little bit you just have to be careful I think that's gone in. I'm going to get a little bit of tissue just for my needle. Um, and from that, we're then going to put a flower or two in. Now, I'm not sure which flowers. We're just going to have a good look at what we've got. Oh, some of these are just beautiful. And I do need my tweezers. So I've got a pointed pair of tweezers, which I love that little bit. And I think we're going to go that there with another one like that there actually I'm going to make this the top yeah because I want a couple of these bits in let's have a look this one especially because I love that like that now best thing about all of these is you don't have to use the whole thing so I can take hold of this no I can't <laughs> yes I can um, and we can just pop these here like that I don't want that one I can go back in there I'm gonna take this little flower and we're just gonna pop that hang on I was gonna do that not gonna do any more to that apart from push them down into the resin see so like that I 
do the same with that one. And that. I'm going to put some more on top. It won't be left like that. I'm going to put a little bit more resin onto that. But they have to soak and sink, if you know what I mean. And as long as they're totally covered in resin, see that's pretty. But not quite finished, because now I'm going to use some of these tiny flowers that I have. Get rid of the leaf. Make sure my tweezers are clean. And here's a nice yellow one, which I'm going to pop there. With a nice green one at the side. Wipe my tweezers. And I think we need a nice tiny wee pink one just there, like that. Again, just wipe your tweezers as you're doing it. And a beautiful one there in purple. with a nice orange one at the side of that there and I want one more which I'm going to find a, a nice red one I think just to go there now you can do whatever you want with yours All I have to do then is <laughs> carefully fill that in. So I'm going to use my spatula just to drip that on on top of those to make sure that's filled in. Because I don't want to go overboard. Like that, take my little torch, which is, uh, do you remember my gas torch? And just go over it really quickly if there's any bubbles. And leave that. And that's going to make a nice little bookmark. So I don't need to do that one because we've done one. Uh, the other thing is, I, like I say, is I want to do this one. So I'm going to... Put on some more of the leaf in. Just going to put a little bit first from my pot just to seal it, everything in when it goes down on it. Just going to make sure that fills in. So that's going to be uh, my coaster. I'm going to do it that way so that it can be seen from the other side. So we're going to have that too much. So I'm just going to cut this down a little bit. See like that? And I do want my butterfly in there. I'm going to do my butterfly like that. Now, of course, underneath that, that's going to have air bubbles. So I now need to stop that. 
See the air bubble coming out then? You need to get the air bubbles out, you see? This is not a job you can actually rush. Now, there's air bubbles in that. I can still see the air bubbles. But what I'm going to do with this one before I do anything else, right, is I'm going to take a little bit of, um, use the pot I've just used, take a little bit of this, and no more than that, get another stick. Now you should be wearing gloves. Um, I should as well, but I can't find mine. Take a little scoop of um, mica powder, and I'm using the gold. Give that a really good mix. Get rid of all them clumps. Don't any clumps in that whatsoever. If you find any, just get rid of them. See how it's really pretty. And I haven't done too much. Just leave that there a minute. Now, I'm going to put some flowers in this as well. So I'm going to take hold of my larger flowers. Oh, and I'm going to put a feather in it as well. So I just need to get a pink feather. So I'm going to take a little, here's a feather, like that. I'm going to snip it where I want it. Get rid of that. Can you see that? And I'm just going to lay it on. Just lay it on. That's all I need to do. Um, and we're going to pad that down. Just I'm not going to touch it much. Leave that. I'm going to take my flowers. I'm going to pop one in there like that. I'm going to take one of these. We'll have the white daisy one. I'm going to shove that underneath. So you just shove it underneath. Should have put it on first. Wasn't quite sure what I was going to do though. So I'm not bothered about it being there. I'll let that go. Okay. Wipe my tweezers. Let's have a look. I'm going to put that in there like that. Again, just going to wipe my tweezers and let's find another flower. I do love these. Just going to pop that there. Yeah. And then I'm going to take one of these lightly coloured pink ones and pop that in there. like that just press them down they'll all go in all them feathers let me just get my another stick oh, let me get a longer one so I'm just going to use my stick to push that down and then I'm going to pour the rest of my liquid in. Oops, move that one. 
over the feather and as you can see the flowers have kind of like spread out just do that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little spike again I'll use my tweezers just to bring these back take the air bubble out see that air bubble make sure the feathers down make sure the flowers gone underneath like that make sure that one's gone bring this back into place and this I'm actually going to move that to there move that fly see you can't the, the feathers literally disappeared for now I'm quite happy for that to go there and this to come in there okay so we've not finished yet uh, I'm going to add a couple more flowers I might add that one. Oh, that's gorgeous I'm just going to sit that in there like that nice mixture of flowers I've got my leaves where I want them And then I'm going to close that. Oh, I might put one of these in because I absolutely love these. Let me just take that one out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to put that in there behind there. That's fine. The feathers in there are okay. And then I'm going to take one of these and add that in there like that. Okay, that's nice. I like that. Might need a little bit more leafy. Let's have a look, see what we've got. Just want to put a bit more leaf in. So what I've got is I've got this one that I'm going to cut. Oops, that's gone in there. Get rid of the stem. Take hold of this. I'm going to put that in there take hold of this one put in there just to fill the background and I'm going to do that with that one or I might just put that there coming from behind that one yes I think I like that what what I wish I'd done now is to put in a flower underneath that and I might just be able to squeeze one in actually let me just see I might be able to squeeze one in but I'd have to lift that up let me just see if I can do this yeah I'm going to slot that in just there there is a little bit of a blue bit there they're all in now so I'm just going to leave that in there and then you see this well I'm just going to drape this around the edge like that just get out as much as I can because it is mica powder put that to one side oops put that in there now my spike so all I'm going to need is my spike and I'm just going to
move it around like that, move it back and move that in and out like that. And then I think I'm going to need one more set of that. Well, I have to mix another batch. Um, so I might as well do another lot. And I just need to pour another layer on top of that to get the thickness. So again, I'm going to use one of these just to get the measurements. And remember, it was three of this one, three of the um, A three of the resin let me just get that out pop that lid back on for a tip it over and one of the hardener so in these bottles you get enough to do three mixtures basically like this so it would do three coasters, because I haven't put much into that one. Let me just put that there. Pop the lid on. I do know what I'm like. And then I'm going to scrape this one out. Right, so that's all of that so far. Like I said, I'm just going to get a bit of tissue. Now I might just put in a few of the smaller plants, uh, flowers and whatnot, into the uh, pendant one. I might put a few small ones into this one yet, just to put, it needs a bit more colour, I think. So I'm just going to soak in some of these. Now that has to turn upside down, that's it, like that. You have to make sure you've got them the right way. Right, I'm back. Now, again, before I do any more, I have decided once more to put another feather in the background. And that's the other bit that I cut off. And so I'm going to do that. Like that. Take my long stick, oops, and try and pat that down. And then what I'm going to do with this, let me just take that stick out. Pop that on there. Is to pour some more on here to cover that but don't go over the edge right I can't put any more in than that but I will have to make sure that I've pinned that down Oops, a daisy. It just disappears. But when it's finished and comes out, you will be able to see the feather. 
push your flowers back down because you don't want all to come to the top because this is the back side of it and when you take it out you'll have a, a, a ledge on it for your cup to go on and you won't, you won't be able to spill it so yes that might look quite busy and we'll see how it looks when it's done so that's that one and that one's looking really well let me just get my spike you just need to push them down a little bit if they start to come up see I did this back upside down this is the front and it should have been the other way around but not to matter you know it doesn't matter it doesn't matter at all it'll look nice whichever way it's done so I can't wait for those to dry and uh, we can see it's play basically you have to play um, in order to uh, figure out what's what <laughs> you do that's as simple as that so like I say we're going to wait for that one put that to one side now I'm going to add a bit more to this one let me just move these out of the way go up there now, like I say, this one that I've got a little bit of gold left in, I'm going to add a little touch to that. And I'm going to put a little bit more of the gold in. Let me just, what can I use? I'll use my spike. Where's my little, I've got little cups or... Do you know what? Easy way to make a scoop, if I don't knock that over, take a straw right you don't need much just take a straw well, i'll use the bendy bit because it'll be easier okay i'm going to do it from the base snip that off and there you go i've got a scoop see I'm going to put a little bit more in. Easy as pie. Mix that up. I'm going to use it for this one. <sighs> so, put that out of the way for a minute. Take a little bit of this. like that just doing a touch make sure it moves up to the top now i've got a gap here and a gap there i'm going to take hold of my gold that i've just mixed because you can do absolutely anything with these and i'm going to pour in some of the gold from that end making sure I've gone all the way around and some gold from this end now look what's happening shooting it's shooting I'm going to take my spike and just do this swirl it up that way and swirl it back down that way leave it like that I'm going to take that little cameo and drop that in right in the centre Make sure that's level and just pour a little bit of this on top. Again, take my spike.
like that. That's all I'm going to do and leave that. I'm going to do some of these. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe I just want to do... I'm going to use that up because I'm not going to waste it. So we'll do a couple of just plain gold pendants. Hang on, let me just grab this, grab the little, oops a daisy. I'm not going to waste it, so it's handy having one of these in that you can get, um, use your oddments up, so I don't waste anything at all. So that's that. I'm going to pop in. Let me take this stick out. Let's pop in and uh, let's do these. I'm going to do three of them. Don't fill them up because you, if you're going to put anything in it, you don't want it to overflow. I'll do a square one. The oval one, whoops, overflowed that, but never mind. We'll have to take some of that out. So it doesn't matter as long as you've got a quick way of getting rid of it. You don't do too much. If you make a mess of it, don't worry about it. It will all peel off and you can sand it down to get rid of it. So you don't even have to worry if you make a mess. Right, so in that one, I'm just going to do a flower. I absolutely love this flower. I'm going to do it in that one. Right, here's another one, and it's just like a little hanger, like a note board, you know, cheese cutter, cheese cutter or something like that, which you can do, oh, you can, whatever you want to do with it. So what I'm going to do again is to put in some of the white iridescent, I'm going to get a new pot, it's right, handy to have these little pots, so I'm just going to take this, just knock that. This is a iridescent one, white one. Put that to one side. It should have a nice uh, gleam to it. So I'm only going to put a little bit of liquid in this. Pour the rest into there. Just lean that so it all drips down into one space. And then we'll just mix this up like a pearl. See, you have to make sure all the powder's mixed up so the pigment's all gone. And I think that's that. 
and then what I'm going to do is just to because I want to play around and then I'm going to just put in uh, not the gold it's the old gold just going to get that pot back get my little scoop and just put a tiny wee bit in but then I'm going to add all the dregs like that oops see and now I've spilt that leave that out of the way just pick it up best you can mix that in okay Pour it directly into the middle. Okay, like that. And then you just do that with it. And leave it that's it done right everyone I just wanted to share this bit with you tomorrow um, when I've revealed, you know, taking off the rubber moulding from the ones I've done today, I'm, I'm going to be doing a beach scene as a... Uh, I'm going to test it first and if the weather's okay tomorrow, I'm going to be doing the shack. I do have to get the shack done. It's got to... It's a Christmas box. So I know I've got a, a few weeks left, but I need it done because I need everything taken... Um, at once to Jane's or oh, we're going to meet halfway but I just want I found some gloves and I just want to make sure that this works so I'm going to make like a plate that you can put something on use it as a or use it as a wall decoration or something uh, hopefully these gloves will fit I find gloves really small I'm going to have to take my jewellery off I think ugh I hate stuff like that. <laughs> if I can get this hand on, I can get them on. Yeah, that's that's near enough. We'll get them on. We'll do it. So, Jane, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this dish and make a plate. And then I've got the sand. It's going to be a beach scene. I've got some rocks to go in the in the water. And I've got some pebbly bits as well. So we're going to mix all that in. I may need to colour it. Um, we're going to then cover it, uh, make blue water, the beach scene, just as a picture, that's all. And I have got a selection, I've chosen them, um, some shells. So I will be using some pigments, meaning these. I'm going to add a bit of that in with the sand. And I'll have to mix certain... Um, about three different blues with uh, or two blues and a green so I'm going to use these this pigment one I've got a nice pale blue to do and then I've got a darker blue to do so we're going to use those and I've got this dark blue as well so I can put that in and I'll tell you what they all are tomorrow but I have to show something to you I really do I always knew there was a reason I loved Raymond. <laughs> I've got to share it with you. One of the reasons why I love him. One of the reasons. Let's have a look. I have to share this with you. Because you'll never believe it. I said to him, you know all these pressed flowers? I mean, they cost a fortune. I think that was 5 99 just for them few. And I've only used a couple of bits out of it. Again, the same here. They were like 5 99 And I'm thinking... Nay, it's too much. 
I can go in the wild and pick flowers and press my own. So I said to him, I says, can you have a look and price up some wood and tell me what it'll cost to do a flower press? And then what do you want one of them for? I said, press flowers. And he just started laughing. Anyway, so he came, he went straight out. He went, watch the dogs, I won't be long. He come back. I heard him messing about downstairs and a drill going. And he went, here. I went, what? He went, is that any good for you? <laughs> and he's made me a four-laid one. Well, it's I can get one, two, three-laid. Um, he couldn't get these any smaller, but that's fine. By the time they've got things in them, just keep screwing them down. And he's made me that, a flower press. I just ask him and he does it. I can't, you know, you can't fault him. He's just brilliant. So that's the press. So there you go. I'm going to try that tomorrow. We might go out and get some uh, flowers because there's quite a few outside round and about. So yeah, we'll do that. But like I say, uh, the beach scene. Yeah, definitely going to do this. And we'll set that up tomorrow. They're looking really good. And I'm quite looking forward to testing it out. Now you do need, um, when I do them, I will need to mix, like I say, the light blue, the dark blue, maybe even a darker blue. And you can, that's paint, that's um, powders. So we're going to use those three. I'm going to use a gold. I'm going to use a lighter gold in with the sand. We've got the shells and the rocks and it'll be quite deep um, and then I've got to mix some white paint with the resin and we'll see what we can come up with. I will do part two tomorrow. And uh, we'll be back when they're all ready.